I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here. As you are trying to open a program you have recently installed, this error arrives. A program can start because RLD.dll is missing from your computer. It's a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video till the end without skipping it and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for rld.dll. You can choose any results, I am choosing the first one. This is not sponsored but I will put the link in the description. Basically the file is a 32 bit file but 64 bit users can use it too. To know your version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see my 64 bit and I am recently updated to the Windows update. So I will be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has multiple fixing method also. As the download complete, open this file. Now we can see the missing file and add readme file. To move the DLL, open this PC, local link C, Windows, and offer a folder name system32. Here it is. This is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Now click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so they are asking me to replace. And click on continue. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in this folder. So, 32 bit process is done. Then go and restart your computer. For 64 bit users, you need to do a little more. Open this piece one more time. New volume C, Windows, and this time find a folder named SysWall64. This is the home of 64 bit DLLs. Now click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and drop. This is the same process as 32 bits. Now check this one more time. Yeah, the 64 bit folder is also placed with the file. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are T lockers, you need to update your recent Windows update or install your program again, and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.